what's up welcome back to another video if you're new then welcome today with me I have Phoenix so today I want to talk about what it meant to me to adopt rehome or rescue because I think I have a little bit of a different opinion than most people would so I'll just start off with some basic definitions that kind of get going into my opinions so a definition that I found for adoption that I really liked and that I agreed with was when you take responsibility for an animal that the previous owner has abandoned or released to a shelter or humane society. The definition of rescuing was to take in an animal that was neglected or abandoned. And then obviously rehoming, just giving one animal a new home. So taking an animal from one home and just giving it to a new home. So those are just kind of some basic definitions of those three terms that I do agree with. So, what does it actually mean t to me to adopt, rescue, or rehome? So now I'm kind of going to give you my personal definitions of those three things. My definitions are a little more broad, so sometimes an animal can fit into multiple categories. So for example, to me, rescuing an animal means you're giving it a better home than what it had. Whether it was housed incorrectly, not fed properly, has health issues, if you're rescuing it, you're giving it a better home. The basic definition I have for adoption is giving a homeless animal a home. And then obviously rehoming, like I said, moving from one home to another. So I think the part of my views that differs from a lot of other people is I don't think an animal needs to come from a rescue or a shelter or anything like that to be considered a rescue animal. I always call Arcadius a rescue because quite frankly, had I not taken him in and gone through what we went through with his metabolic bone disease, he might not have been here right now. So we definitely rescued him from a bad situation. So his last owners thought that they were doing well by him, but he ended up with life-threatening conditions. So I refer to him as a rescue. When I get technical from what other people say, he was rehomed. So that's where kind of an example is of them fitting into multiple categories. He was rehomed to us, but he had life-threatening conditions, so I called a rescue. My first reptile, which you saw in my very, very first video, was my leopard gecko, Zephyr. He was an adoption. He came from Petco, and he was one that this boy had. Boy went off to college. Mom didn't want to take care of him, so she brought him into Petco's and found him a new home. So I do refer to him as an adoption. He was adopted. Like, officially, I had to fill out paperwork. We paid a small fee, small adoption fee. So I do call him adopted. Once in a while, I might say that he was a rescue because when we got him, he was severely malnourished. So we had to bring him back from that. But more often than not, I just call him an adoption because he was actually adopted. He didn't actually come from a family. We didn't get family to family. He came from Petco as an adoption. And then came Phoenix. Ooh, Jesus. So she came from a lady that was moving and had to rehome most of her animals because they were moving fairly far away. And that I would have classified as a rehome, except for the fact that she was housed completely improperly and she was being fed once every three days. So she was extremely overweight, which is one of the most common health problems in captive snakes. So she was extremely fat, she was a sausage, like a literal noodle sausage, and she was being housed on, I don't even know, like if she was housed on just hard dirt at one time and then reptile carpet, so she didn't have anything that she could burrow in, and she was housed in a 20 tall, so a 20 tall is way way too small for her, she needed something much bigger. Right now she's in a 30 gallon long and soon I will be upgrading her to a 40 gallon breeder tank. So despite the fact that she came from one house straight to me, so it's house to house, because of the conditions that she was living in and the improper care she was receiving, I do refer to it as a rescue. So when I'm talking about rescues, adoptions, and rehoming, I don't get too technical with it. I like to think of it as the whole picture and kind of go from there. So I'll refer to them as more than one thing. 
like Arcadius, I always call him a rescue. Phoenix, I'll call her a rescue, but she was also rehomed. Um, so was Arcadius. Zephyr was an adoption. Sometimes I'll call him a rescue. It just kind of depends on the day, on the situation. But I do believe animals can fall into more than one category, depending on the situation. Because if you take an animal from a bad situation and they've got health issues, and you take them and you give them proper care, you bring them back to good health, you should be able to say you rescued this animal. You took it in, you brought it back to good health, you took responsibility when their past owners didn't. So I think you should be able to say you rescued this animal. Because I mean, where I am, if you go to a shelter, you go to rescues, you're not going to find a lot of reptiles. So for someone like me who likes to stick with finding reptiles that need a new home, sometimes that's not the place to go. So the other thing I wanted to mention is where you can find reptiles that need a home that aren't from a breeder because that's where I always like to start with out. Because that's always where I like to start out. I like to look for an animal that needs a home before going to a breeder. I would really like to try to stay away from breeders. Nothing against breeders. But when there are animals that need a home, I like to go there first. So I have three places that I always check. Number one is the obvious, that's your shelters and rescues. Because once in a while, you know, they might get a reptile in. You live in a city where like reptiles are a common pet. Maybe you see them more often. Like I said in one of my past videos, I come from a very, very small town where nobody keeps reptiles. So you're never gonna see a reptile in our humane society. Right here, I go to school in the city. RSPCA does get some reptiles occasionally. Um, I don't think it's too, too often, but you know, you get guanas, turtles, the things you usually end up seeing rehomed. So the second is Craigslist. Now this is where you'll probably find more of the animals that didn't have proper care. These are the people that, you know, got a little noodle and then realized how big it was gonna get and decided to get rid of it. That's not what happened with her. But that's just an example. So what I like to do too is if I know I'm looking for a certain kind of animal, I will post an ad myself under the pet section of Craigslist. So that's how I found Phoenix. I knew I wanted a corn snake, so I just kept posting every now and then. Like, does anyone have a corn snake they want to rehome? I'm not looking like to buy from a breeder. I'm just looking for something that needs a new home. And then you know you let them come to you because you know sometimes people might be on the fence or they don't just want to post and give it to anybody and if they see someone specifically looking for your animal then that might be a way to go. So that's how I found her. Um, I almost got a rainbow boa through Craigslist because I continuously posted, you know, does anyone have rainbow boas they want to rehome? Because I knew there was a breeder that had some, which is where Apollo came from. But I wanted to try and see if one needed a new home. I knew it was a long shot with a rainbow boa. But I did have a few people contact me. The only reason I didn't go with some of them was because they were asking for a lot more than this breeder was asking. And with the breeder, I would have gotten a baby that I could have, you know, raised myself and been there through its lifetime. And then there was one gentleman that I was going to get the snake from, and the guy just disappeared. Never responded, but posted this snake on Craigslist. Responded to my ad, said he didn't need to rehome the snake, but he would give it to me since he knew I wanted a rainbow boa, and then proceeded to post it on Craigslist asking for more than he told me that I could get it for. So after ignoring me for a while, he finally came back in and was like, oh, I have this hog nose if you want it, but no mention of a rainbow boa. So I decided I wasn't gonna do business with this guy. I didn't like how he communicated, the lack of communication. I didn't really want anything to do with him. So that's when I ended up going to the breeder. I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna get something like a rainbow boa, I might as well go through a breeder. If there's one that really needed a home that needed to be rescued, then I would definitely do that. But I do think it is okay when you're looking for a specific kind of, I don't wanna say rare, but around here it's rare, kind of reptile. I, I don't have a problem going to a breeder. I would prefer to do rehomes and rescues first, but I knew for a rainbow boa, I'd probably have to go to a breeder. So yeah, Craigslist is great. Scroll through if you're looking for something specific, post an ad yourself and let them come to you. The last place is Facebook. So a lot of places have Facebook groups designated to 
rehoming animals or even specifically reptiles or just selling reptiles. And so I'm a part of a bunch of groups like that in my state. There's a couple in my city or like my area of the state. But so you can also post there if you're looking for something specific. So those are three places I check for reptiles before going to a breeder or you know shopping at a reptile expo. So yeah, if you guys have any cool adoption stories or exciting rescue stories, feel free to comment below and let me know. I'd love to read through them, hear about everyone else's experiences and stories. And don't forget to like this video if you want to see more of my animals. And subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so you don't miss when a video comes out. Thank you.